It's like, this would be a nice shirt you could wear during New Year's, maybe if you're not going to, like, let's say somewhere fancy. But let's say you're going to, I don't know, like, Aunt Marie's party. Dressy, oh no. What's that called when you let the fly open? It gives this, like, Cuban kind of vibe to it. I don't know, I kind of like <laughs> with the jacket. I'm really, really obsessed with these pranks, and I love how this looks. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. In this video today, I wanted to talk about how to style with patterns. I recently have gotten into really having patterns in my collection. I just bought a bunch of patterns and I wanted to share with you guys. So this is kind of like a Zara haul slash how to style patterns type of video. By the way, I changed up the location of where I record the hauls. Let me know how you like it in terms of sound, in terms of like visuals. And also I have this mirror now so I can like show you guys back and front. So I think it might be better. I don't know about the lighting situation, but we're just gonna take it as we go. So let's get started with how to style prints. So disclaimer, some of you, when I show these patterns, might be like, what the heck, what are you thinking? But just give it a chance and see how I style it. And then if you still don't like it, I'm open to be like, be like okay, well, maybe I'll return them. If you guys think I should return any of these pieces, they don't look cool, let me know. I won't get insulted. Just be like, they don't look cool. You don't need to insult me. You don't need to call me like, I don't know, whatever it is that you guys call me. Just be like, Neems, it's not working out. We don't think it looks cool or it's not worth it and I'll go and return it. I have no problem with that. So let's start with the first piece. So I got this piece from Zara and it's, I don't know, I personally think it looks really cool. It's polyester. So this thing was $50, so maybe I'll reconsider it. But I just really like how it fits and flows and let me show you guys what it looks like on. And I, would, I didn't buy this um, with the purpose of just wearing it by itself. So just hear me out. So on, on me it looks like this. So on me it looks like this, so it kind of gives this like Cuban kind of vibe to it. I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> the reason why I got this was to actually button it up all the way to the top and this is how it was styled to, uh, in, in store. In store, they had put a really nice leather jacket, as I was saying, like the guy was wearing. And somehow the print really accentuated the leather jacket and I don't know what it is like I really like how there's this like really heavy print underneath my jacket but my jacket is obviously black and I'm wearing with jeans but imagine if it was like a black on black outfit I think it would look really cool and I don't know like I think it looks good but here it is in the mirror this one would also look cool if I wore let's say like a dark denim jacket over it because it, you still get the idea of the print, but you're not wearing the print. It's not so loud. It's just subdued. It's barely there. It sticks out maybe when your jacket kind of like opens up or maybe like, like when you walk and then from the back of it, you see that? That's the reason why I got these. But again, if it looks weird, let me know. I'm just trying this out and I want to try like different styles out sometime. Next print that I got was a little bit more on the formal side, but again, you can kind of dress this down as well. It's this shirt. It has this, these skulls all over it, really tiny. That other one, I didn't need to bring it up close because, but see here? So let me try this on by itself and show you guys how it looks. So here's the shirt on its own. I got all these dress shirts in a small size. The bandana one was a small size too. That it's supposed to be kind of like flowing, but this one, as you guys can see, is pretty slim fitting. Just a white shirt, but as you know, with closer inspection, it's printed. So let me get close. So see here, it has a print on it, all the skulls. Now, the, what I envisioned for this shirt wasn't really like, I was like, okay, whatever. I can wear it like this, you know, maybe to dinner somewhere. It looks cool, like maybe against some like dark jeans, maybe my Rick Owens DIY jeans, kind of go for a gothic look. But the way that I imagined this was, so this is the way that I imagined this. I wanted to button up the collar really high and just wear it over this really bold red Jacket. I'm telling you guys, this jacket that I got from Forever 21, I'm coming so I'm coming up with so many different outfits with it. Like I love how versatile it is, but here's a close-up. This is what it would look like. It has that button-up effect here. The print is there. It's like polka dots, but it's kind of just like sticking out from both under the jacket and over the jacket. I'm really, really 
obsessed with these pranks and I love how this looks. You could also kind of open this up to make sure, like the argument with pranks that I always have with myself is like, okay, I'll wear it once. How many times am I gonna wear a prank? But with this method, you could pair it up with different jackets. Just open up the collar and then pair it up, let's say with, pair it up with, let's say a black denim jacket with a little bit of fur here. It ultimate, it like changes the whole look that you were going for. Again, this would be nicer because it is a white shirt and the print is really minimal. For a more formal occasion, let's say a dinner or something, like it would be nice. Or maybe out to the club, or maybe New Year's. Like this would be a nice shirt you could wear during New Year's, maybe if you're not going to like, let's say somewhere fancy. But let's say you're going to, I don't know, like Aunt Marie's party, I don't know. And then lastly, again, you could always pair it up with a black leather jacket. Seriously, I need to make a video where I talk about like my top five clothing essentials that I could never live without, and one of them would definitely be a leather jacket. This one is like the loudest one in my opinion, other than the bandana, but it's this one. So I got this one from Zara. This one was, again, $50. So the white shirt was $39. This one was pretty affordable, but this one was $50. And again, it's in that really like sheer, drapey, flowy kind of material. But again, I'm gonna see if it's polyester or if it's like, cause polyester, you could literally make it into anything. Through and pure polyester, $50. But it has, let me come up close. It has a really, it kind of reminds me of Gucci right now, the, the kind of style Gucci is going for. I'm in no way saying the quality or craftsmanship or design is anywhere like Gucci. It reminds me of Gucci. So don't get all like twisted up all up on here. But again, it reminds me of stuff that Saint Laurent and Gucci are doing. Um, it has this like odd, it has a bunch of like diamonds and pencils and like, kind of cartoonish graphics on it, which I kind of think is cool, but it's in that faded, this is what I'm talking about, faded, muted color. So here it is, I kind of look like your third grade grandma teacher or like Mrs. Betty. But again, let me know if I look ridiculous, but here it is. And I just like, see it's like against this blue and if I was just wearing some like Converse or something. So I don't know what it is about this print, I love it against denim, but see, come closer you see I love that it has the print all the way into the collar and it kind of sticks out over the denim jacket and I just really like this look of this what like what I'm wearing like I would wear this I could also wear this tuck the shirt in so let me show you guys this also if I were to tuck the shirt in to some white denim wear like a brown belt and I think this would be a really cool outfit. Like I really like how this looks with like some brown shoes. It would be kind of like a dressy, oh no. What's that called when you let the fly open? I don't know. There, but not there at the same time. And yeah, I really like the looks, look of this. I would just need a brown belt, but tucked in, it'll look like this. Also, you could obviously like let it loose and you can't go wrong having it loose and kind of like grungy and underneath your very nicely fitting or oversized or whatever style you like leather jacket. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know, maybe I'm crazy, maybe none of this looks good. Um, I just wanna see what you guys think, how you guys think about it. And um, yeah, I still have the tag. So if you guys say like this one looks good, that one looks good, this one was $50. So in total, all of this came to $150 for three shirts. But if I can get so many wears out of them, like as you guys saw, I had, for each shirt, I had at least three outfits. So, like this one would look cool with a hoodie, like if I just had like a gray hoodie. But I don't know. You guys ha are gonna help me decide, and maybe I should just do a segment on this channel where before I buy anything, I come to you and be like, hey, should I buy this? Should I not? Because you guys have like, you're so many of you, there's 22,000 of you, and maybe it'll prevent me from looking like a third grade Grandma. By the way, my third grade teacher was the meanest teacher in the world, yelled at me, made me cry <laughs> multiple times. Maybe I was bad too, who knows, but yeah. So I hope you guys like this video and until next time, peace.